Yo, what is up, Jimmy Superfly Snuka? Y'all know what that is? I think he may have passed away. He's one of the greats back in the day. Uh, but anyway, yeah, from WWE as a wrestler and stuff. Um, anyway, anyway, check this guy out. It is a Volcanicus, but it's obviously a little bit of a twist, a remix on the build, because we are using Crankcase as the core torso, um, a Skids mold mate, and then we have five Dinobots lovely adorning him on the sides two scars in the top and two Grimlocks in the bottom, and we have Swoop in the middle. What's unique about this is that uh, Crankcase, I believe, is the only one that can pull this off um, because he has that unique port over there. I don't think with Skids, Crosscut, and um, what's the other one? Black Skids. You know what I'm talking about? The Black Redeco? I don't think they have the grill that, that, that gets removed. I believe it is only Crankcase, and because it is only Crankcase, that allows the whole... You know, like, um, what was it? Diruger Vehicle Voltron? Oh, no, I can't get it to fit. That's great. Uh, Diruger Vehicle Voltron, where they had the little um, jet come in and land on the chest. Or even um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, where, where we have the pterodactyl coming in. And it's just not working. You know what? I'm going to do it later. But, um, yeah, I've always loved those combining teams that they have the final member flying in to become the chest or the head. I always thought that was super graceful and elegant, except for that blurriness that you just saw right there. But um, I'm going to give you one more uh, look again. So he's really easy to make. As you can see, the scars are just in their native arm forms, and more or less the Grimlocks are just in their native leg forms. Uh, they've just been kind of turned around. Um, because the, por the sorry, the, because the peg on the Grimlocks, like they're not mirrored, there's, they're, they're going to be slightly... Um, Malaligned? Mis misaligned. There you go. Misaligned, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Um, before I try to <laughs> get Swoop all on here, um, let me see. Do I need to explain anything else? No. I'm just going to start taking him apart. Um, and while I do that, I can tell you a little bit. Man, I was a big combiner of kids. Like, I mean, I was a, I was a big fan of combiner as kids, I was a big combiner of kids. That sounds really weird. <laughs> like, I like I grabbed a bunch of kindergartners and I made them into Devastator or something. That would be hilarious balls and very unsafe. No, but as a kid, I was a huge fan of combiners. Anytime we would go anywhere and we would see any type of, like, vehicles. Uh, like, you know, when we're doing, like, a road trip with the family. And this is starting when I'm in uh, first grade. I would always envision them somehow, like, combining. And my dream was actually a combiner consisting of five semi-trailers. Uh, Optimus Prime as the torso and a variety of um, trailer bots um, as the arms and legs. And I may try to do that perhaps with the Huffer Brothers and Optimus Prime, but, um, huh. Hmm. I might try to do that. But anyway, I've always been a big fan of uh, Voltron, uh, Devastator, anything like all the stuff from like Asia, Voltus 5, um, uh, Diruger, uh, God, what are all the other ones, dude? I'm, I'm I'm losing track of them right now. But um, yeah. So anyway, that's why I'm still like this today. I just love, love, love combiners. I, I think part of it is like I love uh, working as a team and I love like team accomplishments. So I think that sense of like safety, of unity, of everybody kind of working together to accomplish a goal, to defeat a bad guy or something heroic, it, it, it really, really appeals to me. Um, and that's why I like MMOs and like Dungeons and Dragons type stuff. Uh, not necessarily the tabletop because I, I never quite got into it because when, um, when my friends were playing that and they'd invite me, dude, they, they'd have these crazy character sheets and it just felt like we were doing taxes, dude. And I was like, ah, I did it a couple of times, but, um, I was like, no, oh, sorry, <laughs> got carried away, um. But yeah, I do love uh, uh, team-based um, activities and, and accomplishments, and yeah, those are always fun. Those are always fun. Okay, so this is, oh my gosh, I hope I've been keeping this guy in the shot while I've been rambling to you. I've just been, I, I've just been looking at the toy and not the viewfinder to see if it's properly recording. So um, my bad if if anything was off. This is just crankcase in his robot mode, and then you just have the arms kind of like tucked in, folded into the bag. You're just trying to get them out of the way, really, because what you're trying to do is secure his shoulders down over here because those are going to reveal those ports on the side of the tires, those lovely ports. Um, so before we do all of that, you're just grabbing swoop and making sure that the little peg is hanging down and you got the legs flipped back. Uh, it takes a little bit to get that in there. 
there we go, because of leverage. And then you you throw the legs like behind his head. And then if you wanted to try to get and try to make it a little bit more secure, you could try to fold down the pterodactyl beak over the nuts, over the crotch area, and um you should be okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that word is so funny, dude. Nuts, dude. Um anyway. <laughs> um so yeah, we just plop one Grimlock in there. And I think the fact that Crankcase, the skids mold, is like stubby, I think that actually lends to the, the, um, the proportions of the build quite nicely. Because if you think about the Volcanicus torso and the and the Crankcase, oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that squeak. The Crankcase torso that you see here, they're roughly about the same size. And in terms of the proportions and the length of the legs, this is generally the size that I try to achieve when I'm using the other Dinobots as well. So proportion wise, no, I think I think it's good. Um, I do wish the arms would connect a little bit higher, but um, yeah, whatever, dude, that is fine. But yeah, he he's like not the most secure bot. Meaning like I wish there like his arms would tab in better, uh, the crankcase arms to the back. But obviously he's not supposed to be in this configuration in robot mode. So uh, it is what it is. Maybe I'll flip these back. Should I put them out? My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, that's our guy right there. That's our guy right there, and it's not too bad, right? It's not too bad. But yeah, always been a big fan of combiners. Love the team, the mentality, the squad mentality. And so that's why I'm so thankful to have a community with y'all here, and we're just kind of riffing and raffing, geeking out, talking about toys, fandoms, artistic flair, different perspectives and stuff. And so as long as we're cool with one another and we're all inclusive and we're not trying to hate that's all I really care about and just having fun, you know, this is not a, this is a safe space. This is not a bad spot. And so I, I really do take time to try to weed out bad apples or, or people who provide like hateful and negative comments because I ain't got no time for that in my life. Real talk, you know, and you shouldn't either. Yeah. Hate where it's only necessary, where people are trying to like, you know, hurt you, you know, and trying to like impact your well-being, take your wealth and health. Eh, maybe it's warranted there, but in general, I don't know, man, I, I don't got time for that stuff. You know what I mean? Anyway, just rambling at this point. And I guess this has been one of the longer videos. I've been trying to do shorter videos as of late just because it helps with retention. But here we are at the eight minute mark. And so I'm just going to sign off right now. And uh, forevermore, you always um, have my gratitude for tuning in and watching these videos. And um, I'm going to talk to you all very soon. Okay, bye. Peace.